Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Destiny and I thought today we'd go over my thread up 200 pounds as an update. So what's selling and what I've listed. I won't go through everything I've listed, um, but I wanted to go through all the sales I've had so far. So, and kind of give you a, an idea of what you can expect with these boxes. However, of course, every box is different, but I just wanted to go through my experience with this one and I've been using Vendu with a special tag to keep track of this specific box. So uh, any item I've listed from this box, I've put this special, I just put thread up 200 January, 2024. And so it's helped me keep track of everything that is sold and I've listed. I started listing these items January 28th and today is February 18th. So this is what I've gotten done in about three-ish weeks. So I'm going to go through these sales. I'm on Vendu right now and it doesn't give me, <laughs> it tells me what I had it listed for on this page where it shows what has sold from this box, but not what it sold for. So I'm going to try to remember, but if I get it wrong, when I put the picture up on the screen, I'll tell you what it actually sold for. <clears throat> so I have listed 111 items from this specific box. I have two full boxes left to list and there have been... 25 items to sell so we'll just jump right in and this does not go in like specific order of anything I'm just gonna go through how Vindu has it I think it goes from when I listed it um, from the bottom but not like the day it sold um so the first thing that we're gonna talk about that sold was this merino red velvet drape neck dress and it was really pretty someone sent me an offer for $14 on Poshmark I think I had it listed at 25 and my posture VA sends out 20% offers so they would have got a $20 offer discounted shipping and then she counted 14 and I accepted so that was the first thing and then next was the Veronica Beard Reba Silk Floral Blouse and someone sent me an offer on eBay for $28 plus shipping and that one sold pretty fast. The lady left me positive feedback, but um, she put the blouse was a little more red than she was expecting, even though I had red in the title, but that's okay. The next item was the only item to sell on Curtsy. It was the Lululemon Gray Defined Full Zip Jacket. I think this was in a size like 12 or maybe a 10. It was a it was not a small size, but anyway, someone on Curtsy sent me an offer of $60 plus shipping, which was great because Curtsy has really low fees. The next thing to sell, I thought would take a long time, but um, this pink rose, pink marl, loose knit, long line cardigan. It sold in like a day, and I even had, well, you probably see up here, I had the cover photo mixed up with like a different photo, and it still sold for $10 and I think a day plus shipping. Next was this Lauren, Ralph Lauren, navy stripe thick turtleneck ribbed sweater. This was the very first thing to sell. I cannot remember what size it was, but I think it was a small petite. I know it was a petite size. Um, it sold for 21 something, but then I also had a coupon on eBay. So I think they paid around $18 for it plus shipping. The next thing to sell was this Victoria's Secret pink two-tone sequin long sleeve t-shirt. And it had like pink and sequins on the back. I thought this would sell for a little more, but I had it listed at 15. It had some wash wear. Sold right away for $11 and some change you'll see on the screen. This one was really exciting. This was one of the first things to sell, I believe. And it was this new tags, Fabletic Velour Zip Up Wide Leg Onesie in Deep Navy. And I know it was a size large. And this sold full price pretty quick on Poshmark for $50. Most Fabletics is not going to sell like that. For me, it hasn't anyway. And I checked comps, and there were a few listed at like $70. I think this only retailed for $80. So I priced mine at $50, and I didn't know what to expect. So maybe I could have got a little more out of it, but I'm happy with a quick flip. Next was this New Tags Abercrombie Black Sheer Lace Long Sleeve Top. I kept having a lady offer me $8 for this. I had it listed at $25 and I just was not going to take that. I think the lowest I was going to go was $15. But thankfully someone came in and bought it full price for $25. So happy with that. It was, like I said, new. So it was really cute. And it was an extra small. 
Next was this Ralph Lauren floral button front shirt. It was the Knit Oxford. It was really pretty floral. It did not have a size. So I did just estimate it. I think it was a small or a medium. This went eBay international shipping. So I think it went to maybe Canada. I can't remember. But anyway, that one sold for around 20, I had it listed at 32 and it sold for around 26 something, I believe, because they just, I had a sale running, but I did not have a coupon at that time. Then on Poshmark was this men's American blue pure 100% cashmere brown sweater with a v-neck. It had quite a bit of pilling, um, just like fuzzies and stuff, but did not have any holes. So I think it I had it listed at 32 and someone offered me 21 and I went ahead and accepted that. Next was this Collective Concepts New With Tags Alley Crochet Trim Kimono. It was from Stitch Fix and this sold in like a day. I can't remember what it sold for. You'll see on the screen. I think it was around 20, 18 or $20. Like I said, I had it doesn't tell me on here it just says what I had it listed at but the lady had messaged me I didn't post measurements for this because it was open front and it was new my kids must be in my bedroom upstairs and um, anyway the lady asked me for pit to pit measurement I sent it to her and she bought it so next these juicy by juicy couture women's mid-rise straight sweatpants red velvet uh, velour I think I put I put both in the title these sold same day or next day and I listed them for 25. Someone accepted the 20% off offer, so they sold for 20 with discounted shipping. Then I sold this Patagonia Gray Silver Nano Puff Jacket, and I put Read Read twice in the title really big. I've already received positive feedback on this, but it had a logo right here of some company, and then it also had it had some like darkening stains on the inside. It had a stain on the back, I think on the sleeves. I had several stains. I had it listed at 45. Someone got my offer of 36 and then she countered 25. So I just went ahead and took that. Um, I know $25 is not a lot for a Patagonia jacket, but this one was very flawed and I'm happy to get rid of it quickly. Next were these Lululemon spring break short or breakaway short, sorry, four way stretch, three inch in the color Juniper. I just copied the description from Lulu Fanatics because I figured someone could find it that way. I cannot remember all what these sold for. Let me see here. I had them listed at 44 and they sold for 35, I think. What, what platform did they sell on? I can't even remember on Poshmark. So it looks like someone offered me 30. No, they accepted my offer of 35 on Poshmark and with discounted shipping. I can, my brain is totally gone. I'm 32 weeks pregnant and the brain is not connected to anything else. Next was this Bowden, New Tags Bowden Lydia woven detail frill neck sweater. It was a cashmere blend and this sold on eBay and I think it sold for around $28. I think they just bought it with my coupon or on sale. So that was a nice sale. The next one is a very low dollar item. But it sold in like a day, I think it was. Yeah, it looks like I listed on the 2nd and it sold on the 3rd of February. So, like I said, these aren't in any particular order. Just however I listed them, I think Bindu has it that way. So, um, it was this new with tags, Tommy Hilfiger gray stripe classic fit short sleeve polo shirt and women's large. I had it listed at 15 and then it was on sale on eBay. And then someone offered me $8 plus shipping. And I went ahead and took it because there are Tommy Hilfiger shirts in my inventory I've had forever. And I wanted to just move that out. Next, this sold in I think a day, maybe two, let's see. Well, no, a little less than a week, looks like. I forget, I can see that on here. So this St. John's Bay Cream Fisherman's Knit Cable, no, Cable Knit Sweater. It was a turtleneck, a wool blend. And so it was just from a Walmart sweater. But I don't know, I really like the style. And this sold overnight on eBay for $20 and some change because I had a sale running and it actually went global shipping to Mexico, which I thought was interesting for someone in Mexico to be buying a sweater, but maybe they're going on a trip or something like that. Next, this sold same day on Mercari and it is this Torrid Scooby-Doo open front cardigan. When I looked up comps on Poshmark, people had, there was two listed and both over $100. Those were new with tags 
and mine was not. It had a couple little snags. The only sold comp I found on Poshmark was for $40, so I listed mine at $69, and right away on Mercari, I got an offer for $55, and I just took that, so... I know people say to hold out or do whatever you need to do. I, You guys do whatever you want to do. I would much rather have the quick flip, so as long as it's within reason. These just sold today, and I think the three hours just passed because they sold for full price. A lady messaged me saying, are these still available with a bunch of question marks, which usually doesn't mean much, but today it did. I said yes, and she bought them for full price, so it was these new tags, Lane Bryant signature flare mid-rise medium wash jeans they're in a plus size I can't remember if it's like a 22 I can't remember the exact size but they sold for $35 which was my full asking price next was this lululemon hustle in your bustle jacket and this one was in a size 8 I had to do some google searching because it was an older style and did not have the size dot I'll have to look and see this lady, someone sent me an offer of $46. I had it listed at $55 and I accepted that. Comps were kind of all over for that style. Then I sold this Offline by Airy White Wow Waffle Voop Crop Shirt Oversized Pocket. I just copied this again from the website. And I had it listed at $20. Someone accepted the 20% off offer, so it sold for $16 with discount shipping on Poshmark. Next was this Nick and Zoe Cream Navy Stripe Soft Duster Knit Cardigan. And it sold really fast on eBay, I think for, yeah, $24, which really happy to see that go because it was a really thick, big cardigan. I don't want to store it for several more months. Next on Poshmark was this new tags Universal Thread Relax Fit white linen blend button up blue shirt and someone messaged me i had it listed at 22 so the 20 percent offer was 17 with discount shipping she asked me if i'd do 15 with discount shipping and i said yes so i sent her the offer and she bought it so that one's just a target brand but i figured it would sell fast because it was linen and it was a button front relaxed white fish white button up shirt that people like to wear open and stuff and then next on Mercari, we sold this Slozenger Golf Gray Neon Yellow Laser Cut Tennis Sport, and someone sent me an offer on Mercari for $16.50, so sold that. And then the last thing that has sold so far is on Poshmark, and this actually sold in a bundle of two items. The other one was not part of this box. I'm trying to even think what the other item was. Oh, I think it was an Everlane bodysuit, but I always send... 30% off bundles with discounted shipping so she accepted that so 30% off this item was $15 and then I um, just separated the discounted shipping between the two items when I counted accounted it into my fees and everything like that so now I want to tell you all my analytics a little bit um, I spent on this box, it was on sale when I bought it, $362 and some change. So we can say $363. And let's see, I need to see. Okay. All right. So I don't know why that says. Maybe I've listed 112 items. I don't know. Anyway, so far, I have sold in gross profit $712.30. Now, I've been very diligent in taking out every single fee on all these items when I put them in Vendu. So my net profit after fees, not counting my cost of goods, was $532. So I'm already in the green, well over $100 on this box or boxes. And I still have quite a bit to sell. My average sales price so far has been $27.40, which is pretty good for me. That's way higher than usual. I mean, I did have some higher in, higher in sales. Nothing, um, I had what I would call a heavy hitter per box around an item that should sell around a hundred dollars maybe 80 to 100 none of those have sold yet the most expensive thing was the lululemon jacket for 60 so we'll see how that goes and then i also wanted to say i took some items to plato's closet that day i took in i don't know maybe 30 or so items maybe 35 and then i also took in some of my husband's things they gave me $99 and I went through the bin. Unfortunately, they do not give you an itemized receipt at my Play-Dohs. So I um, 
looked in the bin and counted what was my husband's. So it was between 25 and 27 items they took from this specific box. So I just said 25 and they had given me around $3 an item. Can't remember exactly, but I know that when I added it up, I ended up with $60, $69 to add to this total. So that would make it 500 and no, 600, a little over $600. So I am well into the green in this box and I just wanted to show you all what it can look like if you try to get it all listed quickly. And of course, like I said, once again, this is not always the norm. There are boxes with harder items to sell. There are boxes with, you know, better items to sell, but I just wanted to give an update because I thought it might be helpful. You guys let me know what you thought down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.